If you haven't watched the video, Extending Syntax Expansion with Aliases, please go to our YouTube channel and watch that video first. Slick and its alias facility has escape sequences that can add variable text, like the time and date, or functionality, like cursor hotspots, surround with, or dynamic surround, to a keyword expansion. For this example, we're going to take the language-specific alias of a for loop that we created in the video Extending Syntax Expansion with Aliases and enhance it with escape sequences. We're already editing a C++ file. So we go to Document, C++ C++ Options. Next, we click Aliases and select the alias that we created. We've already added an escape sequence to place the cursor. We can add multiple place cursor escape sequences, and they will be treated as hotspots that you can tab through. We already have the one for the init piece, so we'll add one for the condition. one for the increment, and finally we'll add one inside the braces so that you can tab inside the braces, press enter, and start coding. We want for loops to support dynamic surround. If you're unfamiliar with dynamic surround, please watch the video Dynamic Surround on our YouTube channel. To add dynamic surround to this expansion, we use the escape sequence, surround with, indent. When we're done, we click OK. Now we'll test our new alias. We can type any part of the word for and press space. First, let's try dynamic surround. As we press cursor down to pull lines into the loop, you can see that they are indented to the correct level. If we use cursor up to push them back out, you can see that they are unindented. Also, you can see that there are multiple cursor hotspots. After we fill one in, we can press tab to jump to the next. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickitit.com slash trial.